Over the past four years, escape rooms have been a highly popular fundamental activity to develop team building exercises as it adds elements of playfulness in a physical environment. Disruptive Media Learning Lab's Game Changes has been the driving force for a variety of prolific gameful activities tailored for students and staff at Coventry University, one of them being its award-winning escape room initiative, Escape Head. Although, due to the unfortunate times that we find ourselves in, Escape Head and other educational escape rooms alike will have to turn off their lights, but hopefully not for too long. With online learning becoming a new norm within educational environments, Game Changers did not want to lose the learning experiences and activities that were only covered in physical spaces. From this, aligning with the hybrid learning perspective that emphasises that learning experiences should be adapted to the speed of need, the new pilot, Virtual Escape Room, aka VERs, was created to be operated in a similar way to physical escape rooms and rules of plays, but is situated online. The aim of this pilot is to investigate whether the adaptation of escape rooms methodology in online learning using Microsoft Teams can support learner-led activities towards demonstrating study skills competencies needed to analyse, employ, synthesise and communicate evidence. This pilot was created alongside the Faculty of Health and Life Sciences Sports and Exercise team, Dr Emma Eyre and Dr Mark Noon, for their first year students taking the Study Skills and Insights into Research module. The general flow and infrastructure of VERs is made to be as simple as possible for students to navigate through without any complications. VERs are hosted within Microsoft Teams as a team channel for students and staff to be a part of. These team channels house public and private sub-channels for each participating team to be assigned to and communicate through. Each private channel contains room folders that hold videos that collectively form the narrative or story and two letters that reveal the missions, one of them being locked. The two letters also contain links to the evidence, clues and puzzle materials stored on an external cloud storage drive. For this instance, OneDrive was used. Participants must solve the clues, puzzles and riddles to unlock the series of step one letters in the immediate rooms. To begin the activity, everyone starts in the public, also known as the general channel, for the pre-session briefing via a team meeting in the format of a video conference. Participants are introduced to the VERs prior to the start of the session at this stage. Afterwards, a video is shown to the participants which introduces the modules and VER objectives and activities. The structure and flow of the game features a two-step play mode. Step 1 is designed for students to focus on the learning activities and objectives associated to the mission of the room which is articulated in the letter of step 1. Step 2 is the puzzle-based gameplay for cracking the code, using the findings from step 1 of the rooms. From there, the code is used to unlock the next room's step 1 letter for students to proceed. The two steps are in the form of prompt letters, which are in the PDF format. The prompt letter for step 1 in all of the rooms, except for room 1, should be password protected, the password would be linked to the code cracked in step 2 of each room. There is also an option to lock the videos in the next room. You can do this by hosting the video in a PowerPoint file. A side note on VERs is that they can be played individually or in teams without facilitation. The team channels and folder materials can be made open. To set up a VER on Microsoft Teams, you will need to start by creating a team channel that is listed as Other. From there, you will automatically have a general channel, which is public for the members of the channel. You will be able to create private channels to allocate groups of 3 to 5 participants in each team. The private teams channels will contain 4 room folders within the files tab. In this case, we have 4 rooms to escape from in each team channel. When the room folders have been added, the prompt letters for each step can be added to the applicable rooms. Each team can transfer to the room sequentially and compete against either time with time limitation or total time scores, other teams or both components. Once everyone has been added, the activity can be scheduled in a video conference format to host a pre-session briefing in the main channel. 
To find out more information about VERs and how to access its OER materials, please visit the Game Changers website at gamify.org.uk.